Hey guys, this is Jason Sebo, just here to show you a quick video on the new Paramount self-timing muzzle brake. It's 4140 pre-hardened steel. That's also got a nitride treated uh, finish to it, which makes it rust preventative. Once you get this thing installed, you got ports at three and nine o'clock. That way, after you pull the trigger, there's nothing obstructing your, uh, your view through the scope. That first port is big enough. So if you had to swab between shots or if you wanted to leave the muzzle brake on during cleaning, you're able to because that first port's big enough to be able to push a patch through. All right, so here we're gonna install our patent pending brake on a Paramount. We're gonna screw it all the way down until it bottoms out on that shoulder. And you can see the ports are not directly at three and nine o'clock. So we're gonna back that off just to where the ports are at three and nine o'clock. I'm gonna have to rotate this around because of how the, the screw, where the screw is located. And I'm just gonna tighten this thing down all the way. Normally, I would put this in a vise and level it, but this is just a quick video to show you how it installs and how it times directly onto the muzzle threads. We recommend if you don't have one of these funnels, which all of the Paramount should come with, one of these field funnels that you get one, it's gonna allow you to load your Blackhorn loose powder through all the baffles. That way you get your entire powder charge into the barrel. So I'm gonna pour my powder down. And if you spin that funnel a little bit, it'll kind of speed it up a little bit, give it a little tap. Take your funnel out, take your power belt ELR bullet, just drop it right through. And if for some reason it won't line up, you can just kind of drop it and shake it and it'll line up right into the bullet guiding muzzle. Take your ramrod and just start to push it down. And then you'll feel a little bit of a crunch or a pop and you're ready to go. So now we've got our Paramount with a brake installed, already loaded up. We're gonna take a shot with the brake and then we're gonna take a shot without the brake so you can see the difference in recoil and how much reduction the brake actually gives to you. Well guys, we just got through shooting the uh, Paramount 45 caliber, both with and without the brake, and I can tell you, with the brake is night and day. Uh, it's like going from a 300 Win Mag to a 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, literally, it felt like 50%. That's probably not what it actually would come out to on paper as a percentage, but it's pretty darn close. Feel free to check these out at CVA.com, pick them up from CVA.com or your local CVA retailer. Thanks for watching.